the number one pest besides weeds in our cotton operation is plant bugs. So the, of the first thought of a variety that had some sort of resistance or some sort of help for plant bugs, I was all in. I wanted to get every bag of, of this as I could on my farm. As far as plant bug pressure on our farm, this year it seemed like it was just World War III. We were spraying and spraying and spraying and spraying this year. With the Thrive on Cotton technology, we, we skipped the first two sprayings. So like this field, like I said earlier, is broke up. So we would spray both sides of it. You know, we got to skip it. And so that was very nice. Uh, every time you walked out into this field, you didn't, see the, you didn't see the plant bug scarring on the bowls. I mean, on the blooms. The blooms were just perfect white. Didn't have any discoloration. You know, it was really, it's, it's what cotton's supposed to look like. Without biotechs on our operation, it just increases manpower. It increases uh, equipment, it increases every sort of input that we have into the crop. Without biotech, without the plant naturally doing what it needs to do, I'm applying more insecticides, I'm applying more uh, everything. And applying more means more fuel, it means more tires to buy, it means more manpower, it means more everything. To summarize what I think about this Thrive On technology, I mean, it's a no-brainer to, to go with. I mean, the thrip pressure was less, the thrip numbers were down, I didn't have to spray it for thrips, and then I got to cut out two plant bug springs. And so, I mean, that's, that's money. I mean, it doesn't matter. As long as the yield is consistent, and we'll know here in a, about a week or so, as long as the yield's consistent, I mean, it's a no-brainer to go with this technology.